Hello, this is Eileen, the environmental educator, and in this video, we're going to talk about uh, your buddy and mine, uh, Barry. <laughs> Barry Sortoro is that, is that what they say his name is? Um, now, he is installing a 2,500 gallon commercial grade propane natural gas tank on his Martha's Vineyard property. <laughs> okay, that you know, they want to know. Uh, is he preparing for energy blackouts brought on by uh, Biden's? <laughs> Isn't it Barack's third White House occupation shutdown, you know, because of the um, shutdown of domestic oil and gas? Now, uh, WorldNet Daily wants to know if they're preparing for the apocalypse. Now, the interesting thing here is, <laughs> one, that that he got it approved. Uh, okay, this is um, in Katama. This is down at the south end of Martha's Vineyard. You know, it, it's an island. The whole south side is basically a beach, and, and everybody knows these guys are on waterfront. And right here, you know, th this house <laughs> basks in the sun all day. It's south facing. It, it's on the beach on, on the south side of the island. It basks in sun all day. Brock isn't putting in solar. Do you see a solar panel on his roof? I, I, you know, Infowars put out this picture. I assume I've seen pictures of his house before. This this looks like the ones I've seen. Um, now, do you see a solar panel? This basks in the sun all day long. Do, do you see a little windmill off to the side? No, 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 no. Uh, a 2,500 gallon commercial grade propane tank natural gas now um martha's vineyard said this is the select board member arthur smadbeck s-m-a-d-b-e-c-k um he said we've never had a private propane tank come to us and he and then an, another select board member michael donorama uh, noted private residences propane tank is typically typically a fraction of the quantity being requested. So that's interesting. Does that mean or or I, I, I meant to say so so that means Barack's is way bigger than the typical quantity requested for a private residence. So you know why 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 this massive tank i mean you know we we all know that he has this big house but that's interesting and you know now there's there's a lot of big houses on martha's vineyard okay and so far uh none, none of the others have had this need and why is mr clean energy himself putting in a propane tank, natural gas. Now, this this WorldNet Daily article, it, it says right here that, you know, proponents like to think of propane as clean, which it would be to the average sensible human being, but it's hardly clean by green standards. You know, it, it's kind of like being the cleanest shirt in the dirty laundry. Uh, you know, the fact that it produces only half the carbon of a charcoal barbecue barbecue will not help Greta, how dare you, uh, sleep any easier. Now, you know, the sad thing is, if any press would tell the truth about all of these environmental voices, Greta wouldn't be being referenced, we'd be saying, how dare you be a fraud and, you know, not get on board the solutions the world needs, you know, that the environmental educator has. And, Every environmental voice has refused since November of 93, and that includes Barack. So, you know, th these articles here, that they, they criticize Barack for, you know, well, the, the cost, you know, and, and what's he planning for? What does he know that we don't? But <laughs> no, no one's asking the question is, why, why is he not installing wind and solar? Why, why is it not, you know, his clean green energy? Okay, or... How how about hemp? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, that's right, because he wouldn't allow it. 
Oh, that's right. That's right. Barack wouldn't allow any of the solutions the world needs. Okay. And so now he's, he's putting in this, this just tank that would you or I get a permit? <laughs> Have the selectmen say, oh yeah, yeah, sure. You, you can put that commercial grade tank on your property. Sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. You and I would get permission for that. I'm sure. No, <laughs> no, you wouldn't at all. Okay. And so this is just very interesting. That's um, Barack not walking the talk, you know, out there. If he's not running this current White House, he's certainly partnering with it and demanding everybody transition. Okay. But, but, but not Barack. Oh, and you know who else isn't transitioning? to, you know, clean energy. Maybe she's transitioning like her mom to something else. I, I don't know. Um, but, but, oh, her, Barack's daughter. Now, uh, this, this here is a Daily Mail article. Uh, it says Sasha's pain at the pumps. Um, the 21 year old daughter looks glum as she fills her gas tank, you know, in a very funky multicolored ensemble. But, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know why she's glum. I, I truly don't think that um, Sasha is paying her credit card bill and that she she cares about the price of gas. <laughs> I mean, I mean, daddy is Mr. New World Order destroying America. There, there's not financial concerns for this family. So, you know, maybe, maybe she just always has her guard up because she is a, a known person and and you have to have your guard up. They they always have to have their guard up when when they're in public. I, I mean, these days, unknown people have to have your guard up. How many videos have we seen of just your average person getting walloped when they're walking down the street? But, you know, I, I mean, you walk out your door and your picture's always being taken. And, you know, people are taking... When has anybody ever taken a picture of you pumping gas? Okay. But, you, you know, she she has to have this all the time. And, so, you know, maybe that's why she's glum. Maybe she's just not having a good day. They, <laughs> what is going on with these nails here? That certainly is an environmental. That's, that's, you can't even, your hands can't even function with nails like this. That, that's interesting. But, but the in more interesting thing here is, um, you know, this, this right here says that um, it, it's thought, it says it doesn't have the T, but I think that's a typo to be driving a Subaru Outback, an SUV that starts at uh, 27645 for a base 2022 model and, and goes up to uh, 4645 for the high-end option. And then, you know, of course, you can add on to it for there, too. So um, I, I'm not sure, sure what year her, her car is, but I, I'd imagine, you know, she's new and out on her own. It's a fairly new car. but why is Sasha driving a gas-powered car? Okay, the the whole clean energy, the whole electric vehicle push. Why is Sasha? And you know, her sister picked her up at an airport. You know, I, I don't pay attention to celebrity gossip, but uh, just be living, you see it. You know, and I remember her sister picked her up at an airport a while ago, and I'm pretty sure that wasn't an electric vehicle either. You know, so why are the Obama kids not driving electric vehicles when, you know, daddy, daddy here is, is shoving it down your throat, making it mandatory for you. You better transition. Okay. You, you know, so, and why, why, how about, you know, if, if her dad actually cared about the environment, why aren't we in hemp cars being fueled by hemp? Oh, oh, that's right, because Barack wouldn't allow environmental solutions like everybody, okay? So here the Obamas are not walking the talk, okay? You know, filling up at the gas station, putting putting a massive um, natural gas tank in their yard. And then the White House, uh, this is Gina McCarthy here. She's the climate advisor. Now, she ran the EPA for a while. Her complete failure work along with everyone else she associates herself with for decades, are why they keep saying that, 
you know, we're at such dire straits because we keep having complete failures like her get better and better jobs, <laughs> okay? The, the only way you get to be working in the environmental field is if you are a complete failure. There is none of them that have done any good, proven by every global report, proven by every one of their statements, okay? But here, um, Gina is here with an Axios reporter, um, and, and Gina says, we need to silence anyone who criticizes green energy transition. So you got to wonder, uh, I'm sorry, what transition? There's no transition in Barack's household. Oh, oh, but, but for your household, you better. Oh, you better get used to no energy, right? Because, you know, communist citizens don't have energy. And anyone, you know, who silences, who um, criticizes it needs to be silenced. Now, you know, this article here, this is... um a censored site here, but, you know, it, it criticizes this um, alleged reporter, journalist, whatever you want to call her, propaganda agent, is really, you don't work for Axios if you're not a propaganda agent. You know, they criticize her for not pushing back uh, on this, you know, <laughs> just not in, in agreement without any pushback. But, you know, if you push back, you wouldn't <laughs> be on an interview, you know, talking with Gina McCarthy, okay? No, there, there's no way. Oh, oh, Eileen, you want an interview with Gina? Yes. Oh, please. Sure, she'll be happy to answer actual real questions. No, you know, uh, th this girl would never think of it. <laughs> Look at, there's, there's not much going on in there. And she, she would never even think of a real question. Uh, that, that's why she has her job. She will go and she will just spew ridiculousness, not even realize it's ridiculousness, and, and toe the line and, and push the propaganda, you know. But here we are, the White House, the green energy transition, <laughs> it's, and social media companies should censor content that is critical of their green energy transition. Well, believe me. They, they don't have a green energy transition, and uh, I'm pretty sure uh, Barack and, and family are proving that right now. But if you go out and criticize it, <laughs> oh, yeah, and, and you'll be put on lists, right? And your social credit score and your carbon score and, um, you, you know, and then you'll be uh, shut off of a lot of things, you know, when, when your score is not high enough when you don't have a green car and we, we don't have a transition, we have a pretend transition. We don't have a clean energy grid. Um, their, their agenda isn't feasible. W what is feasible? Everything they won't allow. Okay. Now this would be, this would be a, an, an environmental transition right here to end our disposable society, gain individual cooperation, get leadership by example. Hey Barack, uh, you know, hemp, uh, and global environmental illiteracy, so people would then, you know, be able to make responsible decisions. And um, th this, this is the transition that we need, and it's not allowed. <laughs> Brock is adamantly opposed to it. And, and you know, the the White House today is, is it not Barack's third illegal White House occupation? How, how is it not? So he's leading this whole push for allegedly a transition. There's nothing to transition you to. You're going to be out of power while Barack's tank is never going empty. Okay, but in the meantime, here's Barack and his daughter not walking the talk. Okay, and certainly not living to a much higher level of um, hemp that, that Barack could have got you know, installed and working, and we could already be on a hemp society. We could already have hemp cars fueled by hemp. And why is Barack not putting solar panels on this massive sun-drenched roof? No, no, no. Uh, uh, fossil fuel, natural gas, propane tank. So... Some interesting news, you know, this right here is June 14th, 2022. Um, this this article here is, is June 8th, 2022. The Sasha is 
Let me see. It's it's right up here. It's uh, June 13th. And then this one about the White House is uh, June 14th, 2022. So th this is all in real time. The White House is still pretending that they care about a transition, yet their highest profile people are out living, you know, an archaic life of that horrible, horrible, horrible energy that spews carbon. So, you know what? N none of the news that, that puts out, you know, things questioning why he's putting this out on his estate here. You know, is it because of blackouts? You know, he wants, he wants, you know, <laughs> heat when you and I don't. You know, that's the question they ask, but they, they don't ask what, why is it not solar? And more importantly, they won't expose everything he won't do, which would have not had the environment be a topic of discussion every single day. And we wouldn't have tyranny becoming coming out of the White House, you know, <laughs> demanding that anyone who who criticizes their their work to be silenced, to be censored in America. OK, OK. So stay tuned, people. Because this is the only place you're going to hear real environmental news and real environmental truth about frauds like this. So stay tuned.